Hi and welcome back to Spoods and Stuff. Today's video is going to be a quick rehousing of this little beastie, my Thrixapel Morocotti, and uh, just a quick chat about the Eastern Invertebrate show that was last weekend at the Bunyan Centre in Bedford. Um, being a dumbass that I am, I didn't actually get any footage. No excuses, I'm an idiot. But uh, I had all great intentions of getting loads and loads of footage, showing you the different tables, showing you different people I've bumped into, taking pictures with them, but it never happened. I got distracted by all the animals on show. That's, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But uh, yeah, I did actually manage to pick up two new animals, which I'll show you in a second. I also got a new enclosure, which is the one for my Thrixapelma. Uh, a couple of plants, cork bark, nothing very exciting. But um, I was actually there all day with Jennifer's tarantulas. So if you want to see some decent show footage, head over to her channel and check her video out. Um, I met a couple of no, new YouTubers that I hadn't seen before. Cousin, Fer Cousin Feral Ferret, bumped into him, had a really good chat with him. Brilliant guy, brilliant channel. Uh, Adam from Adam's Arachnids, same again, really nice guy, good channel. If you're not already subscribed to both of these, go and check them out. And a uh, couple of special mentions, uh, bumped into a young guy called Max Wiltshire, who I believe has actually started his own channel now. Uh, Max, if you're watching, it was really good to meet you, really nice, and I hope your channel goes from strength to strength. I hope it's better and bigger than mine. It can't be any worse, let's face it. Um, and uh, Scott Tasker, if you're watching Scott, really nice to meet you. Really, really nice chat we had. Uh, he runs Invert Pets UK on Facebook, so go and check that out. Have a look at that. Really good page. Uh, so I think it's time we got on with the, uh, with the rehousing and showing you what I bought. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to see this little guy too well, but if you can make out the spider at the bottom of the cork bark there, this is actually a Brachypelma vagans that I picked up for a fiver, believe it or not. It's a decent size. It's about an inch and a half, two inches. So it's a really nice size spider and my camera's not focusing properly. So... That's probably the best you're going to get of this one, I'm afraid. It's, it's busy hiding at the bottom of its uh, bottom of its cork bark, and it's not going to come out to play. So I'm afraid this is all you're going to get. The little beastie that I managed to pick up, and the one I really wanted, is currently under its cork bark. So I'll try and get you a better view at the moment. But it's actually a Heterometra cyaneus, the um, Asian blue forest scorpion. It's it's hidden in its cork bark since I rehoused it, and it doesn't seem to be the most sociable animal on the planet. So I'll quickly give its cork hide a lift up, and we'll see how it reacts. Hopefully, without stinging me. But. Uh, There it is, really beautiful scorpion. It must be close to, I mean, it's about three and a half, four inches now. It's got a decent sized uh, set of nippers on it. And like I say, it's, it doesn't seem to be the most sociable creature, so we won't disturb it too much, but at least you can actually see it. Once I put its cork tube down, it actually came out to play and you could get a quick shot of the uh, the blue on it. Okay, so this is the actual enclosure that the, the Ocket is going to go into. Um, it's a Perspex enclosure. I think it's 20 by 20 by 30, 35 maybe, maybe a little bit bigger than that. But it actually come from Tarantula Room, the enclosure, and I'm more than pleased with it. I think it's a really good, really good quality product. Um, I particularly like the way that the lid fastens on because a lot of these Perspex enclosures actually come with little, uh, almost like little pins that you have to turn and they can be a real pain. But with this one, it's magnetic. It literally clips into place and it's strong enough that the spider's not gonna be able to push its way out of there. 
So I think that's really clever and it looks a lot cleaner as well on top, I think, personally. But uh, yes, it's a bit of a simple setup. We've got a piece of cork bark, a couple of bits of slate in there for decoration, a um, couple of plants. Now, I know some people keep Thrixapel Morocotis uh, terrestrial, but um, I know a lot of people that say they are actually semi-arboreal and my one actually tends to be more of an arboreal spider. It actually prefers a cork tube it's in, it, it comes out now and then, but uh, it spends most of its time in the cork tube and prefers to live like that. So I've got it a nice decent sized piece now and uh, we'll see what happens when we, ha we rehouse this because this one can tend to be a little flighty if it gets spooked. So wish me luck. Obviously the first thing we've got to do is get this spider out of its enclosure and into a catch cup ready to put into the new one. So we will try our best. We'll try, it's actually right down the bottom of the cork bark at the moment. So this might go well, <laughs> it might not. There's only one way to find out. What I'm going to do first of all is remove these little bits of cork bark that were in it previously. Again, these were just decoration and climbing points for it in case it wanted to, but it never really used them. Like I say, it lives inside that cork tube and that's where it tends to stay. So, let's just quickly break this little bit of webbing around the outside. Let's see if we can't remove that without too much hassle. Hello beautiful, I can see you. You're being extremely calm for now, of course. Okay, that's all that webbing out of the way. Now I can actually see the spider and we'll try to uh, try to catch cup it now. Christ, if I don't destroy everything in the process, I have my catch cup, I have a brush. Uh, now the catch cup should just fit over that piece of cork bark, so here goes nothing. Okay, uh, I can't actually see what I'm doing, that's the disadvantage of this. Okay, chicken, up into the enclosure. Buck, buck, buck. Come on. That's in there quite well, isn't it, my love? Is that actually solid at the bottom? That'd be handy. Oh dear. Uh, right. Okay, the spider's still in the cork tube. So we may be able to just nudge it. It's actually got a piece of dirt right at the bottom so we may be able to nudge this into the catch cup there you go hello gorgeous yes i know you're not a fan of this and i do apologize oh no don't come out don't come out you little bugger come on i know this isn't very nice but this is for your own good sweetie and we may be able to get you a nice what are you doing don't squish yourself up like that, you donut. Do not squish yourself, my little love. Go into the catch cup, please. Come on. Come on, backwards, darling. Backwards. Not forwards, backwards. You're not going to make this easy, are you? So... Come on, my sweet. Come on. Okay, so we're going to have to do this the hard way, are we? Now, as you can see, oh dear God. <laughs> the spider's actually just hunkered down and isn't going to come willingly. So I can get you a nice shot of her, but look at that colour. I can't believe how calm this little thing's been 
for the moment. So we'll see if we can't just get this piece of cork bark into the new enclosure and uh, transfer it that way. Now there is the new enclosure. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is place this piece of cork on top of this one and see if I can't just get this little spider to cooperate and go downwards. It's actually being remarkably calm, which is kind of scary, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. You have a nice new home if you will just go downwards, my sweet. Now, don't flick hairs at me. Come, don't. You're flicking hairs downwards, you nutter. I'm up here. Come on, baby. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't come back up this piece of cork, you psychopath. Go down in. Look, look, look. Don't flick hairs at me, you donut. This one is a bit of a hair flicker, but I can't believe how easily this has gone, to be honest with you. As you can see, it's just going straight down into the bottom of that cork bark and hiding down there. So, uh, job done. And I'm back. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you didn't like it and give it a thumbs down, let me know why. Let me know how I can improve. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.